What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got six new mods and we have two updates and these are good updates. I'm excited about both of these. First off, we're going to take a look very, very quickly at each thing that we've got. First up, we have the Crampy Bandit 800. You're going to find that in trailers, as always, all the way to the right. Right here it is. It looks crazy. So main colors, we can go with a red, kind of a, a faded green, a black, and more of a bright green. We can also change the capacity from 28,400 liters to 38,000 liters to 42,850 liters. And then you can put a top on it, but it's only going to hold 29,000 liters. Now, here's the interesting part. So we're going to go over to main color zero. So look at this in configuration. If we've got it at the main color and I'm not sure if this works with the others, but as long as you don't have the top on it, these don't cost you anything extra. They're totally free. Now, I don't know if that's the same. Nope. Exactly the same with all the other colors. I thought that was a bug at first. So that's really cool. So if you want a, 42,850 liter trailer for 69,000. Oh, 69,000! <laughs> Will brand, of course, you can go trailer Borgs or Michelins. And those are going to be standard tires regardless of what you do. Next is the Bell Trailer 9.75 meter. You're going to find that in Bailing Technology. And it is exactly what I thought it was. Different brand. Gotta be honest with you, they're a different brand, completely different brand than I thought it was gonna be. But nonetheless, main color, anything you want. So let's stop some silly pea green on there, rim color, black. Now you wanna go with that? Go with it. And you could change your wheel brand from Trailer Borg to Michelin. This is gonna cost you about $12,800, $12,900 uh, fully decked out. Very, very cool. Next, we have the Amazon Census. 6003 so this is going to be in cultivators now we already have census 8003 which is an eight meter cultivator for 68,000 now we've got the 6003 for 43,000 now this does require 300 horsepower so don't get excited <laughs> It's all, it needs a lot of power for what it is, but still nonetheless works nine meters, 43 grand, 300 horsepower needed, nine miles an hour, six meters. I can go on and on and on. Next, we have the Kuhn GMD 2811. Now, this is a new mower. Here it is, the GMD 2811, 2.7 meters, works at 13 miles per hour and requires 37 horsepower. Now it's going to cost you eight grand. Now we already have a GMD in game over here. We have the Kuhn GMD 4411, which is 16,000, 4.3 meters. So for half the price, you get a little bit more than half of the width. So if you really wanted to grab this thing, it's going to be good for you. Eight grand. Up next, we have the lizard 55 or 550 kg weight. I believe we had this in Farming Simulator 17, possibly 15 as well. Here it is, 250 bucks. Change the color, whatever you would like. That color is going to cost you $100. 350, jeez. <laughs> so like 40% of the price is the color. Gosh, you might as well just leave it black and pay 250 bucks for it. Nonetheless, if you guys like the, the barrel weight, this is going to be the one that you want to go with. And we have the Limken uh, Zircon 1030 oh, Power Hero. <laughs> Here it is. I uh, can't do anything to it. You're going to need 120 horsepower for this. It is a three meter implement, nine miles an hour. Now, people ask me what these Power Heroes do. Man, simply enough, simply put, they're a cultivator. That's what they are. Um, we do have another three meter in game. This is the uh, Rabe or the uh, Rabbi. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, so we'll just say all the wrong things. Maybe one of them will be right. That one's going to be fifteen thousand. This is ten thousand. Ten thousand five hundred for virtually the same thing. Pretty cool there. Pretty cool. And 
this does not have the uh, row marks as where the limkin does. So if that's a game changer for you, well, there you go. Let's take a look at these a little bit closer. Here's the Crampy Bandit. We have gone with the larger version. I believe this is the, yes, the 42,850 liter version. So there's that, very cool, very nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. It looks good, it looks, I mean, it's Crampy Trailer. It's one of my favorites. So we're definitely gonna be getting one of these for a Felsburn map. Here is the Amazon Census 6003, again, it's exactly what you expect it is a cultivator it is a good looking machine and it's Amazon so it's that perfect green with that perfect orange that we can never get for some reason <laughs> here's your Limkin Xeron right here very very cool very very cool power hero it I mean it does what it's supposed to do it's pretty easy pretty nice and easy there you go here is your Bell Trailer 9.75 meter. This thing does not like to turn. So if you're going to be using this and you need to turn, good luck. <laughs> going straight fine, taking huge turns around. Perfectly fine. But I had this parked right between the cultivator and the trailer. And with the tractor, I had to go all the way around just to get to here. And I was still hard over most of the time. Keep that in mind. Over here, we've got your new weight, Lizard 550 kg weight. Does what it's supposed to do. It, It's a barrel. <laughs> the Coon GMD 2811. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, this thing's cool. This is going to be great for people who have smaller areas around their farm that just want to get in there, get into a tight little space without having to get in. You get this huge you know, mowing rig and everything. And the great thing is, it's cheap. Eight grand. Go for it. It's awesome. And of course, the Valtra. If you haven't already, you gotta get one of these Valtras. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got one more thing. Well, I say one more, uh, two more things to look at. Technically, three more things to look at. Can we take this off with it like that? No, wait. No. Oh, wow. So we have to unfold this. There we go. Bam. So what we've got is we have the root crop storage and we have the old machinery shed. Now, whoever makes the old machinery shed must have listened to me because I complained about the doors a whole lot. I finally just started getting used to them. And you know what they did? You know what they did to the freaking doors? They took them off. <laughs> Can you believe that? They took off the doors. Oh, me, oh, my. So, no more doors. Nothing to worry about there. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get the lights to come on here. That's where the lights are supposed to be, right? There we go. So, it said uh, in the uh, in the changelog that they fixed the lights. Well, I'm not sure what was up with the lights, but hey, looks just fine to me now not too bright just about perfect and of course you've got the old version as well let me come over here open this up and again same thing come over here cut the lights on boom maybe maybe not boom all right well i'm sure the lights come on i'm just not being able to get close enough without opening the door and the root crop storage now the root crop storage this is now capable of being used wait for it in multiplayer so if you guys are playing multiplayer and you need root crop storage this will now work for multiplayer i don't know why it didn't work in the first place but now it works so feel confident with that very very cool stuff well guys that is going to be it for today hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like you know, all right please subscribe if you hated everything i did make sure you smash that dislike button and make sure you get subscribed so you know every time we come out with video or live stream or anything else that stuff like that goes to. <laughs> well, that being said, guys, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!